Okay, hey everyone, Wandabot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. So we're going to be playing as, uh, well, no, we're not going to be playing as anything. You can't play as anything. We're going to be playing on, um, we're going to be playing on Nightmare Mode. And for those of you that were here right before the episode started, my microphone almost went crashing to the desk because I have not a great setup as far as things go. Also, it looks like we got a bunch of the ground guys. Luckily, ground guys don't come in champion variety. They still hurt them. Don't like them. Anyway, we're going to be using the Babble Gun for... T wow, that is insulting. We're going to be using the Babble Gun because the Babble Gun is pretty solid. Does do self-harm. Self-harm is a concern, but at the same time, we kind of need... We need the power that this gun provides. It's probably the most powerful of all of the vanilla guns. Now, I know there's a secret area in here, but I can't reach it. Which is kind of a shame. Oh, well. End of the world. It's like back behind and stuff. Or no, 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 no. This one's up above. Either way. Uh, but yeah, my mic almost fell over. And that could have and would have been horrible. But nice thing is, despite the fact that this gun has a decent amount of self-harm, it's the benefits outweigh the negatives. And right now I'm in a lot of I'm I'm very afraid of getting hit by literally anything. Cause they can and will kill me very quickly. This this is nightmare mode, I'm not expecting to win at all tonight, but I'm going to try anyway. And the reason why I'm like in super rapid fire mode is I'm trying to jazz myself up here. Alright, well I found the secret. Don't think I got it all the way. There we go, weapon level 3. But yeah, since we're playing on Nightmare difficulty, every enemy is a champion, and the difficulty has been highly increased, regardless. So, shit gets hard. Shit gets hard fast. And I've had some, like, really good runs on this mode before, but they are few and far between. Usually, usually they're, uh... Usually they go hand-in-hand in hand with, like, some kind of absurd luck or something. I really wish Nightmare Mode uh, wasn't actually, like, one of the perks that you pick from the very beginning. I really wish Nightmare was actually, like, a, a dual perk so you, you could pick it with something else. Because I could probably do quite well with a Bluegrass Nightmare run. Uh, just purely based on the amount of jumps available to me. But either way, we're actually pretty close to weapon level 5. That's nice. And, uh, I also got this, which is damn cheap. Please be something good. Yep, y'all, that is good. That is real good. I think there is a secret in here. Another? No. No, there isn't. Well, this is, like, right here. Nope, it ain't. All right, so we got, we already have one jump. That is a serious boon right off the bat. Very worried about everything, just, like, I, I know I, I'm kind of reiterating myself here, but, like, this challenge is generally considered unwinnable. Uh, at least by my opinion. I, I'm sure a lot of people have beaten it already, but I have had nothing but pain. And maybe it's because I'm lazy. Maybe it's because this game is very dependent. Oh, this is a brutal boss to run into as far as this weaponry goes, because... Oh, shoot. I'm not shooting the pip. Now I'm shooting the pip. Where's the pip? Because this guy, not only not only is this guy fairly painful, uh, his bottom segment is a champion, and he summons plenty of spin bots, which are, of course, problems. And he shoots arguably substantially more than any other, any other boss in the game. I don't think we're going to have trouble beating him, but we're definitely hurting for it. At least we get a health pickup as a result, and we get the... Is that the big dumb rocket? That's the big dumb rocket. Alright, that's not actually a bad pickup to go to go along with what we got. And we're back up to full health, and our weapon level went down a little bit. Oh well. Crossing my fingers that I can get some more loot. I really wish, um... Okay, I missed a secret there. Oh, right, from the first room. And we're going to Gearworks, which is probably going to be a problem. As long as we don't go to the warehouse, I'm not terribly concerned. Warehouse is where things go bad. But, uh, Big Dumb Rocket's gonna be nice. A lot of firepower in that one. Would prefer, like, the Aerodic Levy device or the Weaponized Monkey Wrench, but... Well, that's not something I want to deal with. Note to self, those tumblers are pain incarnate. 
you're gonna hurt me. Okay. Safe from that, for the time being. Okay, the blue XP. Yeah, for whatever reason I thought I could jump through the tumblers. And then I realized that's not actually correct in any way, shape, or form. Are there secrets here? Nothing else dangerous either. One measly little sort of health pickup. Either way, let's, let's keep it going. And, okay, I did unmute the microphone. Okay, is this, is this variation? I'm very glad I have an extra jump here. I'm very glad I have an extra jump here. Also, this super cannon does not come in. Damn, you still hit me though. Oh, you, you know what? It's not the super cannon. It's the random ass regular cannon hiding in the secret room. That we get a might pick up. Bam! Holy crap! That made me flinch. That's not good. What is even hitting me here? I don't even follow what's going on. We're getting more jumps, but I'm trying to get these health pickups on the way. Okay. Nice thing is, since most of the enemies are champions, they give all sorts of loot, comparatively. So, just try not to get hit by the spikes. The spikes are where some large amount of death happens. Ow! Ow! I'm getting knocked all, all over the place. I really cannot... Big dumb rocket! Take him out for me. Take him out for me while I quickly recoup losses, sort of, not really. Either way, wow, Big Dumb Rocket didn't even take him out. Maybe it has a maximum range. But, like, the thing is, most of the enemies that are usually not particularly dangerous become extraordinarily so purely based on their sh their extremely fast attack speed. Okay. Well, at least we're getting a lot of mobility here, so we got that going for us. I'm just... This is hella stressful. Can you tell why I don't do this challenge very often? At least our health is not doing half bad. But, like I was saying, Champion enemies drop a lot of loot for us, so we do have that as a benefit. And we've, we've already got two jumps and a jump height. And a lot of speed, go figure, that's what Nightmare Mode is for. So, yeah, now we've got the maneuverability, we got a might pick up too. So, uh, if our luck holds like this, we're gonna be in a really good position. I'm gonna prioritize the health for a second. <sighs> totally forgot about the guys down here. Around the rosy, pocket full of closies. Ashes, ashes, that's another piece of health that I can probably use. Okay, and I did not realize he'd be there either. The XP is crucial for this entire challenge. We're gonna run out of it real quick. If I can get some armor pick pickups here, we're gonna be in a really solid position otherwise. Okay. There's still a couple of enemies left. Not many, though. <laughs> We're only on, uh, zone two. Okay. They all dead? Nope. They ain't, they ain't dead. Not in the slightest. That's okay. Ooh, we get Seeker Weapon Mod. Cheap Seeker Weapon Mod. I'll go with it. Uh, it's probably gonna take a fair amount of responsibility off of my shots, which is very welcome. And... Uh, hopefully won't... <sighs> okay, that could have been real bad. Is there a second one? There's no second one. Alright. Health is looking... Uh, that's okay. This, this room is generally one of the more dangerous ones. We get this out of the way. There's a lot of blue EXP up there, and there is a secret over here. Let's see about the secret. Nothing but fat cash. Fat cash ain't unwelcome. Oh, hello. More than just fat cash. More blue, blue EXP. See, this is this is the reward we're looking for. Unfortunately, since I don't have a blue EXP up, uh, the results are a little bit more limited than other situations. But we should be able to get up to one level five by the end by the end of this floor, which is nice. We're gonna need that. Now, as far as everything else goes, things that we need really just kind of boil down to uh, jumps, armor, might, health. So everything, really. Yeah. I, unfortunately, this game doesn't have a whole lot of like really crazy combos that you can kind of stack together to make really exciting uh, things happen. However, it is kind of nice how like basic things can get like. How simple it can be. I 
we've got a couple of flame turrets directly out. Oh, oh, they already... They already... No! Wow. You are not welcome. Shit, there's a lot of them. The problem is I can't escape in my usual method either. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, replay, sim, load up, everything. Yeah, now that, that was brutal. No room to maneuver. Pair of flame turrets right in the center. Maybe I should have prioritized taking them out, but the homing purple crap would have been a problem. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I would do in that situation, and... Oh well, let's see if our luck holds out and we, if we can get more jumps. Because uh, having a bunch of jumps is tantamount. And honestly, if we can go to the, if we can go to the foundry instead, then they'll put us in a very good position. Otherwise, uh, well, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Crossing my fingers here. This this run, we absolutely cannot, uh, we absolutely cannot kill any HUD bots here. As much as sometimes they'd be useful, maybe. The extra health would be appreciated, at the very least. But, uh... Huh. I don't actually know that. If, uh... Okay, these guys are in a really good position to be shooting at me. And I'm, I'm stuck. That was a very really lucky but horrifying moment. Okay, so apparently speed step might actually affect your shot speed too. Huh. Well, in that case, I might have to do tunnel wrap with the, uh, the 56mm hand cannon. Also, thus far, no pickups. Gonna be a problem. Why did I press tab? Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Nothing but spiky ball launchers. Oh, and of course, more spiky ball launchers. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to have to pretend I'm a stationary cannon, pretty much. The spiky ball launchers can't hit me from this angle. And I really, really don't want to get hit by any of that, any of that awful nonsense. Okay. No pickups. Plenty of blue EXP, sort of. Should be able to that. I've never been up here before. Oh, huh, weird. Oh, either way, we're already weapon level 4. That's really solid for starting out, and... I believe I can make this. Yeah. It's kind of a wacky... wacky situation, but... I'll... You're kidding me. Well, that's just insulting. Like... I, I kind of wish the RNG was super, super kind to you, given this situation, because, like, you know what? You're doing nightmare mode. Shit should be friendly here. It should be like, oh man, you're doing the really hard hard thing. Well, let's actually progressively scale it, scale up your, you know, general power and survivability, so you can kind of take things as they come, and instead it's just like, nah. Then again, the one nice thing is we could potentially do a Cake Town run here, and that could actually give us a huge starting starting boost, but, you know, it's not exactly... I don't know, it's one of those where... Oh, God. This boss is brutal, given the situation. Because, unfortunately, I'm kind of in a damned if you do, damned if you don't. No extra jumps, no extra speed. Can't keep too close to him, because I hurt myself. Can't keep too far away from him. And he's got all sorts of friends. Now, I've already gotten down a weapon level. Damn. Well, I guess I'll just accept it. I'm not going to take too much damage here, as long as I don't get run into by any of the spin bots, and hopefully the... AOE is going to handle them for me, but, uh, it's... It was looking scary there for a second. What did we get? Pocket change generator. Could be worse. Alright, and more, more blue EXP. Alright. Okay, so we, we've got... We've got... Why do I keep pressing tab? I, I keep pressing tab because I've been playing, um, Gmod. Uh, you know, to... Well, actually, it beat par there. Missed a secret, whatever. Um... But yeah, I've been playing a lot of Gmod lately, so I've been, like, checking to see who's still alive, and it's like, nope, this is not Gmod, this is Tower of Guns, what are, what are you doing, Wander? What are you doing? Anyway, we have a grand total of magnetism and one health up, going into the Gearworks yet again. I would be lying if I said I wasn't terrified. Oh, right, of course, we spawned directly in front of a Sawblade launcher. The shit just ain't fair sometimes. My health is not looking great. Also, that's a truckload of bullets. At least the magnetism makes life a lot easier, as far as, like, reclama reclamation goes. 
But, hello, victims. Generally stationary and non-threatening victims, given the current situation. I don't think there's a secret down here, though. Shame. Oh. Not the end of the world. Just gotta hope we get lucky. Otherwise, we I mean, effectively... Oh, right, there is a secret here. It's just unreachable, given the current situation. Oh! Oh, this! Oh, this room! This room looks interesting. At the very least, every champion bomb bot is effectively just free money and free everything else for us. So we got that going for us. So assuming that we don't get totally blown up here, this is actually going to be a really nice room for us. Well, he gave us nothing. Either way, he's the problem. Pocket change generator. Let's let's get wealthy. Now we've got we've got crit. We've got an ET gun, and. And there was a double stack cannon. Okay. So, crit, ET gun's dead. No other power up. So, we got speed of all things. Speed is nice, but I really need me some jumps. Anything else? As far as I can tell, no. It's just a pair of these cannons. Okay, that makes that makes my life a lot easier. I just have to have to. Have to something was coming at me. Oh, it's twerps. Actually, champion twerps are equally welcome. They drop way more stuff. Okay, so we're, we're effectively being attacked by slightly dangerous piñatas here. And, well, I've never played Viva Piñata, I get the general gist of it, and feel like I could pretty competently murder all of them. I think I already have, actually. That was ridiculously easy. Okay, did not kill all of them. Also, looks like there's uh, one of those floaty tanks up above us, which is concerning. Pretty much gonna have to kill these guns before I go anywhere else, because we have to go up. I don't have any extra jumps here, so that makes shit hard. Hey, we're up to weapon level 5, though. Please, somebody give me a jump. I totally deserve it. Alright, so we've got at least one store up there, and that is reachable. Which is very concerned, because the problem is we move so fast. We move so fast that um, we, we have the possibility to careen all over the place, and careening is, like, super dangerous given our current situation, purely because, well, can't afford to lose a whole lot of health here. And crashing into the ground, it's painful business. So, let's, uh, let's hope between this, damn, this, eh, like we're getting, we're getting useful things, I will grant, but we're not getting what we need to be getting. Also, don't actually need to get up on top of that thing, damn it, damn it. And a little bit of health. All right, let's let's keep going. Oh, see a pig man. Let's just keep going. Crossing my fingers here. I really want to live through this run, and that means getting as many secrets as humanly possible. Even if I'm a robot man at heart. Okay, it's blue exp. Oh, but it's sometimes more than blue exp. Looks like it's money. Yeah, it's money. Not really necessary. All right, well, let's go back down, grab that crit, and keep going. Click the bottom. Hmm. Oh, either way. Let's, yeah, let's grab the crit. Our money situation is doing wonderfully right now, so assuming I can get, I assuming I can get those two jumps and whatever, well, you know, find a shop or shops or something. Then at the very least we gain that benefit. Please be one of the good damn it. Well, we've been in this hellhole before. We have been in this hellhole before. It was not a pleasant situation at all. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Die horribly. Hi. This challenge is brutal. Just saying. It's fun, but boy is it brutal. Uh, I needed to like get back into the j jam of jam of it all. Blah. I've been playing. I haven't been playing that much Tower of Guns. I've been playing a fair amount of it, and so it's kind of like, all right, you know, I feel like I have base and competency for it, but I'm not at the height of height of my heyday right now. 
And, of course, that more or less makes us far less competent as far as this challenge goes. I'm just going to zoom around a little bit. And I'm very glad I have the extra speed, though. That bomb bot's scary. If I can take out the... If I can take out that... The saw blade launcher, we're all good. Okay. Let's just grab the rest of this. We got cannons of plenty up above, and unfortunately, I think you can only get up there if you have enough jumps. Is there no lifts? No nothing. Yep. Nothing. That's well, okay. I don't even have the magnetism from the previous run. Oh, well. Cross on my fingers that we get something nice here. The other ah. I don't I don't even know. Whatever. Okay, health, don't need. Anything over here? Nothing? Nothing? No. Alright, secrets. Speed. Oh, I got stuck. Alright. Well, we get we get a speed bonus, which is nice. And there's a little bit of health left. Yeah, alright. So we didn't have that much of a penalty for it. But yeah, as far as I can tell, there are two guns that could potentially win this run. Unless you got, like, hella lucky and or got a secret gun. If you can get a secret gun, this run becomes a lot more doable. Um, but... The two basic guns that I would say have the highest chances of succeeding at beating this run are uh, this gun and the portable pizza thrower. This gun has the largest advantage in comparison, just because portable pizza thrower, well, pretty powerful. Also can't go up ladder. Elevators in this situation. Uh, portable pizza thrower, well, powerful, especially, you know, with like a mod and a couple of might pickups. Um, portable pizza thrower doesn't have AoE. Uh, I guess if you got TNT on it, but even then, that just brings it even with this gun. That, that is still risky. All right, mystery box there. Nothing else. Please let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I want the loot. I want the loot now before we get dangerous. Those are those are spin bots. Please, please, please. Okay. Whew. That could have gone very poorly. It almost did. Okay, they're coming for me, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fight them on the ground floor. Now we've got a. Yep, we're doing it. Uh, we've we've got a mystery box down below, and I want to I want to kill the bomb bots and the spin bots outside of the radius of the light, because any items caught in the light will just immediately go up, which would be really unfortunate. Um, but, wow, they just aren't dropping shit for me though. Oh, well, that was a coin that I could have actually used. All right, I guess that's what I get for mentally giving up on things. And it looks like uh, that mystery box is up. <gasps> no, no, no! <laughs> All right. Well, that that did not help. Replay same loadout. Foyer. Uh, right, we're in the dole doldrums. There are no more Cake Towns. I forgot about that. Oh, that's going to make this harder. Yeah, we're not going to get a Cake Town run. We have no way of doing so for quite a while, actually. Because at, uh, at run 50, which we hit, which is where we got the Absurditron 9000, or whatever it's called, uh, that is where... I'm just going to scoot through here. That doesn't look like it's anything useful. Um... Yeah, run number 50 is actually the last, is the last time you can get Cake Town to level 100. And then you get the Troll Hunter, which is, uh, well, the Troll Hunter is something interesting, but not particularly useful. But, ah. Uh, oh, really? I thought I already, I thought I already got 50. I think I'm on, I think I'm on the, uh, I think I'm on 60 now. I'll have to double check when I die, but I, I thought this was going to be the run with Cake Town in it. Oh boy, this is quite the room. Alright. These spin bots can murder me in two hits. It's more than anything else. Spin bots do a lot of damage. I guess the only thing more dangerous than these guys, and that is actually the one thing that ruined my one run that actually had like a serious bid for victory here, was uh, the invisible laser guys are seriously dangerous, given the situation I'm in. But in that case, I'm just gonna hide over here. No, oh, he's dead. Well, that makes m m life easier. Damn it. Oh, either way, would it? <laughs> well, that's just insulting. Like, I'm totally okay with uh, even mystery boxes showing up like this, but a difficult a difficulty up on uh, 
on nightmare mode. Just, mmm, that is not fair. All right, so we've got a couple of secrets, one of which I'm not gonna be able to get to. I absolutely know that. Actually, there are no secrets that do us any, oh wait, no, there is, there is a secret that I can get to here. Come on, just, there we go. Actually, there are several here. Eh, hey, jump height. At the very least, there's that. Yep. Because, all right, so we, now we have jump height. But yeah, there are, th I want to say four secrets in this room. It's actually one of the highest density secret rooms. Uh, rooms as far as like secrets go. Okay, that could have gone bad. At least that secret is not something particularly useful for us. Damn. All right, I, I, was, I was thinking it's like, I could, who are we fighting? Lantern of Fullest. Okay, th this is not concerning. But, um... Uh, oh man, we are just not... We're, every progressive run we're doing here is just getting worse and worse. Yeah, I really should have used run number 50 to try and beat this challenge. Though, to some degree, I feel like that would sour it a little bit. Because you know what? All the other guns I would win with eventually. But this one, if I won... Like, if I achieved my star on Nightmare Mode with Cake Town, I feel like that that just that wouldn't work for me. That That would... That would just be like the dishonest way of winning. And that is lame. Oh, let's just keep nuking our way through through stuff. I think I'm gonna go play some Cavern Kings after this. Something a little bit more, a uh, little bit less luck based as far as, ah shit, I'm about to die. Of course I'm about to die. Even Lantern of Fullest is freaking crazy on this mode. All right, I'm gonna give it one more try. I, yeah, Death's 40. I really wish Cake Towns would actually pop up every 10 runs, regardless of what happens. And it was actually lagging there, as though I were going to go to Cake Town. But I didn't. Shame. Oh well. But yeah, no, I, I need a really hefty start from the very beginning, or a very weak boss, which there are none. And that was not one of those runs. And s since, you know, I have no jumps, wow, this is, this is a shitty room just to begin with. All right. I'm just gonna run circles here and hope I don't die. And unfortunately, dodging these bombs, given the situation, is very hard to do. Okay, please, just let me live. Let me live. I like not dying. Ow. I mean, actually, not nearly as not nearly as threatening as I'm making it out to be here. But at the same time, this shit is scary. And unfortunately, the secret here is also up above. Oh well. I'm level two. And unfortunately, this is also one of those games where it's like there are no tricks that you can do to, like, do better. It's just plain and simple. Dodge, kill things more efficiently, and try not to die. It's crazy. And I, I, I really should have actually pursued Nightmare Mode fully some uh, around episode 100. I was very close to doing it that one time, and then I just... Actually, I think it was like episode 111. Hey, there's a might pickup at the very least. We get, uh, that would be a, a really nice boon. But uh, no, get, getting my hands on uh, the might is going to be nice. We've still got people above us shooting shit at us, but I'm trying to get as much blue EXP as possible before it all disappears, because everything else ends up being a little bit tertiary. All right, what do we got in this one down here? No idea. Also, damn it. It's a difficulty up. Why? I don't know. It's very frustrating. I feel like I should just tweet angrily at Joe or something. It's like, no, this is not fair. And Joe will be like, well, them's the Oh, shit. Joe will just shrug at me and say, that's life. And then I'll show up at his doorstep and be like, mmm. And he'll be like, get out of here. And I'll be like, oh. So I actually vaguely know where he lives, which is not a good thing. Then again, I'm not like super creepy, I think. I hope. That'd be unfortunate if I was, like, one of those super creepy, uh, guys, I'm gonna take some. Never mind, no falling damage. Okay. Well, weapon level four, that's a nice boon. Might pick up, very serious boon. Apart from that, little bit, oh, shoot, there's still a guy left. Completely unawares of his, uh, current predicament. All right. Don't think, there I took some damage. I don't think there are any more secrets here. I swear there was one. I think so. Unless it's like back behind one of these things. On one side or the other. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, off we go. Sort of. Eventually. Nothing there, nothing there. 
big ol' spike rune. This is gonna be a concern. Alright, so... Rain or shine, this is going to be the last run. At the very least, we do a lot of damage, and the big ol' spike rune does have less health than most of the bosses. So as long as I don't get totally smashed here, which we managed to do, we're good. And unfortunately, Transdimensional Highway is not a particularly great uh, boss drop. The big dumb missile was super encouraging, and we lost that one. Oh, well, let's just fire ourselves off into the sky. Always forget, you can still take damage in a boss room, even after you've killed the boss. Well, off we go. And we've got We've got the health pickup, we've got everything else. Just cross cross on my fingers. Yeah, zero percent of secrets found. But I totally found the one underneath the staircase, unless this no longer categorizes as one. Wow! And it's still it's still gear work gear works too. Like I was I was really expecting that we get something a little bit more uh I don't know, foundry-ish. Foundry ish is uh, a little bit more useful. Up, oh, night intense, and yeah. As usual, all of this stuff goes up on YouTube at a later day. Oh. Oh, God, please don't kill me. This sucks. Oh, hey, fell down. To run into him, who then takes off, like, all of my health. That is concerning shit. Please have something useful for me. The answer is no. At the very least, everything that these guys drop falls down, sort of. Not really. Oh, yeah, that, that was pretty mismanaged. That's a lot of stuff, though. Fortunately, we just pretty much get back up to what we were before, you know, the incident. But that's okay. All right. So health health is uh, doing okay. Blue XP could... It's this room again. Oh, it's slightly different, though. Slightly, let's take out this cannon. Let's take out these guys. What is... I want to know what the trans-dimensional highway does. But at the same time, there's a big cannon over there. Probably need to murder him, murder him, murder him as hard as I can. Blue EXP plus plus. It's gonna be nice. Right. We're down to what? Level 3? At least there's nothing specifically shooting at me here. Oh, there is. There's one guy down there somewhere. Come on. Die fast so I can get all the loot. Alright. Off we go. Oh, no. It's not a cannon. It's a tank. And the entire level just went back to uh, crazy town mode. Which is not appreciated. Alright, well, at least the vivid pinata creatures have shown back up. I'm just gonna got hide over here while we kill them. Preferably in this corner. Not many of them. Yeah, there's a fair amount. But, uh, especially with the blue EXP++, that's going to, that's actually gonna offset one of the biggest dangers is this run. All the damage you take really kills your weapon level. Like, seriously, like nothing else. And this, this is going to make that a lot easier to keep up and high. Not totally doomed. And you're actually still alive and there's some cannons down there too. Also have to be very careful about that happening. And sometimes there's a dude in here. Wow, nothing but money. There's one thing I've been running into as like a problem in this game recently. I've just had nothing but, well, I should have just tilted back. I've just gotten nothing but cash. Like, uh, Binding of Isaac has this problem to some degree, but it's a little bit less so, where you'll just have, like, all sorts of money for quite a while. Uh, and never find anything to spend it on. Like, I, I realize some amount of that is completely dependent on really savvy shop usage and stuff. But at the same time, ow, one level down. Wow, we are back down to one level four. I guess I haven't gotten a whole lot of blue XP since, but I was really hoping I could uh, get up to level level 5. I guess the penalties of getting hit are way, way higher than I thought they were. And unfortunately... Well, I got the secret. It wasn't anything useful. But yeah, unfortunately we don't have any extra jumps to get it either. Oh, here, here's the nice little boon. Yeah. I, I, I still really wish that uh, Nightmare Mode was a combo. Oh. Well, this is actually kind of nice, kind of pleasant, considering we're just going to get bombed left and right here. What is that? Oh, more blue EXP. Grab that shit while we can, and keep running. Please don't hit me at my five level. Okay, yeah, because if I can get up to weapon level five here, we're at least going to be able to churn through people, which is something we haven't been able to do yet, and that would be nice. Incredibly nice. Yeah, weapon level five. 
Yeah, those blue e blue EXP bonuses are going to be actually far better than I'm I was kind of giving them credit for, or at least like generally think that they would be, if that makes sense. Because like blue EXP, yeah, like when you're playing normally, you rarely run into issues where like you just can't get your weapons back up. This game, it's pretty much an ever-present problem. Anyway, we've already cleared out this side. Let's check the other one and then head out. Oh no, there's the top. There's the top part. Gotta remember the top part. Oh, and we've got a friend. It's almost the same version. At least, like, the the bottom and the sides are the same. Everything else is, you know, wildly differently. And, yeah, we already have 300-something dollars. Which means I totally could have bought that mystery box. Hmm. You know, what's over there? I guess I'm just gonna go to the top of the ramp. We'll see what it is. And, well, if it's anything... If the money, it's not worth it. It's money. Not worth it. What the? Damn it! Clicked out of the program. A Skype notification popped up. What the fuck? What? 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 I mean... I've managed to clear this room, but we've fought this exact room for the past three runs. What? Like this, what? That's RNG, what have you been drinking? And please don't give me any of it because it's clearly crazy juice. I don't understand. All right, well, we get jumps. We get a fair amount of pickups. We get magnetism, which is not gonna do us a whole lot of good right now. Um. It's okay, I can go back down here. Damn it. Unfortunately, that, uh... Well... Nope, that, that... Oh, damn it. I don't even care right now. I'm just... I, this is mine. Transdimensional highway should not arc. Whatever. Oh, well. <sighs> this room... Needs to go die in a fire. <sighs> but I got it! I finally got it! And yeah, this is actually one of the new rooms that I've never been in before. Ever. It's weird. Wait, isn't this like 90% of the same thing? It is. This is another one of those new rooms. Actually, I've seen this, this room specifically an excessive amount of times recently. It's like... This and the previous room, it's like, hey, we're new, you should you should uh, totally play us. See how it is, you know? It'll be good fun, right, Wander? It'll be great fun. You'll 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 totally totally have like a blast and stuff, and we'll we'll totally, you know, take take care of you and give you all sorts of nice loot and stuff, and I'm like, no no no. <laughs> okay. Anyway, enough with the crazy rants. Let's uh let's take the lifts off. I don't even remember I don't think there are any secrets in this floor. At least none that I've ever run into. It's one of those where I'd like to go and... Oh. Well, this happened. I forgot you can get stuck in the little lips there. But, like, unless it's inside... Uh, okay. That's not even. That's not even. Oh, okay. That was... That, that could have been worse. I could, they could have spawned like way later in the process when I was actually up there and in danger. But as it stands, there's still another one. Anything over here? I have to check, considering the exits on that side. And this looks like it's got something through it. It does not, okay. Well, let's go, uh, let's go fight the boss. I've got this like weird Tower of Guns fatigue going on right now and it's, Hmm. It's, oh, no. That... That's not supposed to happen either. Alright, this is gonna be a real serious problem. Like, of all of the bosses we don't want to fight right now, this is pretty much the top of the list. Oh, God, it's crazy town. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just getting walloped left and right. I've barely done damage to him. This is just nothing but ass. Alright. Well. Uh, this is 
been fun, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode, because this is bullshit. Well, okay, where am I? I am over here. I am dead. I am quite dead. Ha oh. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to nightmare mode. That is brutal.